G'day. Well, here we are in front of an Australian lily pilly outdoors for the first time, but we're going to look at another mathematical puzzle. And this one involves a concept we call parity in mathematics. That is when we choose between two options, between black and white, zero and one binary systems. And the puzzle we have is quite a simple one. It involves a chessboard and a set of dominoes. So let's have a look at the diagram. Here we have a chessboard that's not coloured in. I've got some dominoes and I just want to demonstrate it's quite easy to fill the chessboard with dominoes where every domino covers two squares. Now, that's obvious. Mathematicians asked another question. They asked if you remove two squares from the board, that is from the top right hand corner on the bottom left hand corner, two opposite corners, is it still possible to complete the task? Let's have a look at that. So here we've removed the two corner pieces and I'm going to attempt, a, by trial and error, to uh, fill this in using the same dominoes I used before. Each domino covers two squares and you can see here I've run into a little problem. I've got to turn the corner a little bit. I might just go down like this. You might choose some other method. But this is the natural thing for all of us to do, is to try to solve the problem at first. by simply using some dominoes and doing it practically. You might draw a diagram. Now this is my first attempt. Ah, and you see this one didn't succeed. Now I could try again and again, but even though I might do this 30 or 40 times and not succeed, it doesn't prove that it's impossible. And that's the problem with a mathematical proof. There's always a suspicion that maybe you just didn't do it right or get things in the right order. So how does a mathematician prove this? Well this particular problem can be proven in quite a wonderful way. Let's have a look. We start by colouring in every second square as it is on a chessboard and we realise that every domino, when we place it anywhere on the chessboard, is going to cover one white and one black square. It doesn't matter where you put it, it must cover a white and a black. It can't cover two black squares because they're on diagonal lines and it can't cover two white, it must be one black and one white. Consequently, when we look at the diagram again with the corners missing, but all the chess markings in place, we notice something quite interesting. That what we got rid of in this corner was a black square. And we got what we got rid of in this corner was also a black square. So we got rid of two black squares. Now, instead of having 64 squares, 32 black and 32 white. We've removed two black, so now we have all 32 white ones, but only 30 black ones. And that means that no matter what I do, every domino will cover one of each, and 31 of the dominoes will cover, sorry, 30 dominoes will cover, I correct myself again, 31 dominoes will cover, 62 of the squares, one black, one white. But you'll notice that 
no matter what I do, I'm going to have two white squares left. I think this is slightly different from what I did last time. But whatever I do, I'm going to end up with two white squares. It doesn't matter how I orient the pieces, where I put them, I'm going to end up with two white squares and I cannot cover two white squares with the remaining domino, therefore it's impossible. And that proof is convincing to other people and to other mathematicians, basically because we've been able to colour the squares and use the concept of parity to answer the question. So I hope you've learned another skill in mathematics, that many problems in the field of geometry and mathematics and logic and probability and so on, open themselves up to this sort of thinking. I hope you've enjoyed that. Please like the video and please leave your comment. Thank you for watching.